With the academic year coming to a close, you might find yourself with some spare time for the first time in months, and what better way to celebrate than by making yourself a stack of the best ever chocolate brownies, according to BBC Good Food. The first thing you're going to need is 250 grams of chocolate. Now, you can use whatever kind of chocolate you like. I personally prefer dark. Then the next thing you'll need is 185 grams of unsalted butter, then 85 grams of plain flour, 40 grams of cocoa powder, though I did admittedly use hot chocolate mix myself, three large eggs, and finally 275 grams of golden caster sugar. Nobody said that this recipe was going to be healthy. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat your oven to 160 degrees fan or gas mark four. Cut your 185 grams of butter and your chocolate into smaller chunks and put them in a bowl. Fill a small saucepan about a quarter full with hot water and sit the bowl on top so it rests on the rim of the pan. Put it on the hob on a low heat until the butter and chocolate have melted, stirring occasionally to mix them together. You can now remove the bowl from the pan. Now in a different bowl, tip your 85 grams of plain flour and your cocoa powder or hot chocolate mix into it and mix it all together. You now want to break your three eggs into another bowl with your 275 grams of caster sugar and you can whisk them together. You can do this with an electric mixer, but it will be perfectly fine if you're just doing it by hand. This can take anywhere from two to five minutes, so don't panic, just keep going until it looks right. Then you can pour your cooled chocolate mixture over your eggy, sugary mousse, and then gently fold them together with a spoon. Now you can pour in your last bowl of ingredients until it looks a bit dungy and fudgy. And then this is the point where if you want to add any extra chocolate chips or you kept any chocolate chunks to the side, you can add them to add a little bit more texture to your finished brownies. Now you can pull this mixture into an oiled square baking tin and then put it into the oven and set your timer for 25 minutes. When the buzzer goes off, you can open the oven and pull the shelf out and gently shake the tin. If the brownie wobbles in the middle, it's not quite done. So slide it back in and bake for another five minutes. But when it is completely cool, you can just knock it out and then cut it however you want. You can see that I royally messed up the way that I cut mine because for some reason I started attacking it like it was a pizza, which it is not. It is a brownie. And now you have your amazing, best ever, according to BBC Good Food, chocolate brownies. Now, these will keep in an airtight container for two weeks, or you can freeze them and spread out how often you treat yourself to brownies, or eat them in one day like I did. Have you been baking recently? If you have, then send us a picture to at UOL Student Life, and we'd love to include a picture in the next episode. Here are some photos of some goodies baked by our student digital content creator, Owen. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.